to members of this Opus body. I am taking this privilege hour to speak before you, not as presiding officer, but as your once co-traveler, companion in the road of governance and legislation. For the last three years, we have chartered the road least travel to provide quality service. To our fellow Lipagunians, we have shown the independence, impartiality, and maintain, maintaining the check and balance of these institutions. Record shows that our conflicting political affiliations and politics have been a major challenge in serving our people, and yet we managed to harden this. As a result, we have initiated reforms and practiced good governance by ensuring that we have substantial discussions, hated or not, on every agenda. And the results have been shown publicly and recorded in the minutes, in our official Facebook page, and in our transparency board. We instituted reforms as well with regards to the conduct of our work as legislators by adding committee on zoning and land use plan which we saw fitting considering our town's terrain. We changed to some legislative process such as on approving barangay budget by ensuring that it must be submitted first to Sanguni Albayan before submitting to budget office so that it will be discussed by the committee on appropriation. Since June 2013 up to today, we have approved and passed more than 300 resolutions and ordinances. To name a few, we have enacted an ordinance protecting our women and children from any form of abuses and passed a resolution that provide fertilizers and seeds to farmers for free. Two resolutions have also been passed to recognize our local PNP for their for it to encourage in apprehending illegal cutting of trees and recognize a 105-year-old centenarian Perina Lugano Bautista at the centennial celebrations of our town. We have also improved our productivity as legislators by procuring or purchasing new equipment such as additional computer units, photocopiers, LCD projectors, and other equipment. You might have known this, but I also initiated some programs to improve people's life beyond the bound as public servant. Two programs that I'm proud of are the Happy Night Happy Thai Economic Empowerment Program and Women's Bug Making Program, which I believe one way or another have improved the lives of our least fortunate Libagunians. But the road to reform is not yet over. There are still things to be done such as enacting ordinances that recognizes the rights of our people with disability and ensuring that our processes and offices, physical infrastructures are friendly them. Adoptions of agricultural organic law and also the market code ordinance. We have yet to ensure as well as that our offices are business friendly by enacting and passing one shop stop ordinance and protect business from politics. These are challenges which you might accept or not without me for the coming years. I do hope your answer is the former and that the reforms we have initiated will not go to waste but instead be deepened, institutionalized and continued by you, by my fellow legislators led by the incoming Vice Mayor, Mr. Saldivar. At this point, I would like to thank especially the SP Secretary Monalin Baguhin, our staff, Chris Edelio, Bad Riga, Jennifer Arcidi, Minerva Amparo, Key Cecil Ipanag. For the support they have provided us that make us our work less taxing. Thank you to my fellow legislators, Honorable Siscon, Honorable Dagaas, Honorable Billy III, 
Honorable Amparo, Honorable Salibar, Honorable Intriga, Honorable Magaiko, Honorable Pinardundo, and Honorable Ilihorde. For transcending one way or another, your political affiliations and uniting to be able to pass and enact those reforms, I mention. Rest assured that I will be around serving all people in my private capacity. It has been my honor and privilege to serve our people. Thank you and God bless us all.